A trial we've been covering all week came to an end last night. Louis Benevento found guilty of the 2019 murder of his wife, Alicia Wills. Eric Hernandez joins us now to talk about this trial and how many years he's going to have to serve in prison. And first of all, Erica, what was your first impression of the trial? Um, well, this trial started on Monday, and it went through very quickly. And I thought both sides presented a pretty good case. We, you know, the defense was claiming self-defense, and then the state said, no, it's not exactly how it appears. So this is, um, again, he was found guilty yesterday. And I was surprised with the jury only taking two and a half hours to come, with that, come back with that decision. Let's talk about that self-defense claim that Wills attacked him first. How was the state able to prove otherwise? So Benevento did take the stand yesterday, and he kind of painted this picture that as soon as she came home for that day, she attacked him. She, you know, it was an argument that kind of just escalated from there into the point where he, which he admitted to shooting her in self-defense because he claimed that she pointed a gun at him first. The state was saying throughout the entire time his story was changing, that, that what he said on the stand yesterday was different from what he told police that night and was different as far as there was new details that he was saying that he had never mentioned before either. And then he was contradicting himself as well. Um, there was some surveillance footage from a neighbor's, uh, I guess, security camera from their home. And he had claimed that they had been in and out of the house several times that, that day. But according to that surveillance video, he was only in and out maybe once or twice and at one point with a gun in his hand, which he said he didn't have and that that video wasn't accurate. So I think just because of those inconsistencies uh, and sh sh the details that he told police and what he told police that night that it happened was what um, led the jury to find him guilty. And we understand the punishment phase began right after the verdict. How did that go and how long was he sentenced? Yeah, so each side had a uh, one or two witnesses for the punishment phase. On the state side, it was uh, Wills's son. And then on the state side, I mean, on the defense side, it was Benevento again, as well as Wills's mother, um, who she had called right before she was shot. Um, and, you know, they were accepted the verdict, but they were hoping that he would get a minimum of five years and he actually was sentenced to 15 years. What can we expect next as far as trials go? It's still, it's going to get very busy, especially going into November right now. We still have another murder trial taking place in the 379th, the Miguel Gutierrez trial we mentioned last week when it started. We're still following that one. And then we have some big trials coming up in November. We have Roy Hernandez, who is accused of the 1999 murder of his wife. He wasn't arrested until 2016 when he was finally charged with that murder. And then we also have Andre McDonald coming up. As of right now, it is set for November 8th. But that could change November 5th when another hearing com comes into play to decide if they'll be ready for the 8th or a continuance would be called. Sounds like the DA's office is trying to clear some cases before the end of the year. Yeah, there's a huge backlog and I see, I'm seeing like right now this week we had two murder trials. Mm -hmm. I'm going to see, I think we're going to see that more going throughout the rest of the year with several high profile and big trials taking place at the same time. All right, Erica, thank you for joining us today. Thank you guys. Thank you, Erica.